the tape now. For Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Jesus Chavez, and you can see that Mayweather is still only 24 years old despite all his accomplishments. He's been a title holder for nearly four years. He's five feet eight inches tall and therefore three inches taller than Chavez, has a seven inch reach advantage. So Jesus is really going to have to get inside in this big ring. They both weighed in a half pound under the 130 pound limit. And since that time, according to our unofficial HBO scale, neither has put on more than seven or eight pounds, which indicates they were both in tremendous condition as they arrived at the weigh-in yesterday. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside score, Harold Letterman. The Floyd Mayweather Jr. Jesus Chavez fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no standing eight count. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case of a cut caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. All right, thank you very much, Harold. There was a celebrated independent film titled Split Decision, which documented the struggle of Jesus Chavez to clear his name from a youthful era. He got involved in an armed robbery as the getaway driver because as a lonely kid in Chicago, he, by his own admission, fell in with the wrong crowd. Now he is the darling of the social and political set in his new hometown of Austin, Texas. One of the reasons being that he is uh, very bright, very sensitive, a rare fighter or perhaps a rare person who sees his whole background in history from an overall perspective, speaks softly and carries some pretty big punches. Trained in Houston for the bout, trainer Ronnie Shields says, we got the quickest sparring partners we could find, but then again, of course, you don't find any sparring partners as quick as Floyd Mayweather. Body punching is the name of the game offensively for Jesus Chavez, who has not lost a fight in more than six years. Has won 31 in a row. In fact, has been a top-ranked challenger for the last three years. And next up, Pretty Boy Floyd. Latest product of the fighting Mayweather family from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Both his father and his uncle have trained him. His father, Floyd Mayweather Sr., his uncle, Roger Mayweather, have trained him. He has another uncle, Jeff Mayweather, who has worked from time to time in his corner and was himself a star professional fighter. So this kid was literally born to the ring. Mayweather says, I don't brag or boast, but I believe I'm the greatest athlete in the world. I wonder what he would think of himself if he bragged or boasted. Well, no shortage of confidence, that's for sure. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introduction. Gentlemen from the city by the bay, San Francisco, California. Bob Arum, Top Rank Incorporated, and Peter Howells Entertainment in association with your undisputed, undefeated king of beer, Budweiser. Always proud to be your bud. Present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission Chairman Manuel Cal Soto and the World Boxing Council President Jose Suleiman. The three judges assigned to ringside scoring this bout on the 10-point must system are Lou Filippo, Tommy Kazmarek, and Marty Zaman. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, John Shorley. And now, from San Francisco, California, for the men and women currently serving in harm's way with the armed forces of the United States of America, uh, let's get her ready to rumble!
introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, trimmed with purple, and weighing in at 129 and one half pounds. He has an outstanding professional record, consisting of 35 victories, including 24 knockouts with only one defeat. From Austin, Texas, here is the WBC number one ranked super featherweight in the world, Jesus El Matador Chavez. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, white, and blue, and also weighing 129 and one half pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 26 bouts, 26 victories, including 19 knockouts, and he is universally recognized as pound for pound, one of the best fighters in the world today. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, presenting the reigning and defending undefeated WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather. Okay, both these trunks are good. Obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. This is for the WBC title. Test club knock my fight to give up the luck. When this fight was set, Ron Shields, the trainer of Chavez, said this fight is going to be hell. Chavez replied, I've been there. Here we are. has been known to be a slow starter. He says that he's well aware he will have to show more energy in the first and second rounds here than has been the case in the past. And with that in mind, he comes out pursuing Mayweather. That's, you gotta be careful pursuing Mayweather because he functions best when someone is pursuing him. You really wanna make certain that you do it just right. Don't just go there, do, know exactly what you're doing. Mayweather lands the first solid body blow of the fight. A crunching right hand to the liver of Chavez. Chavez digging inside and just trying to walk through to the inside reaches against Mayweather. You know it has a, one of those knee braces, a knee wrap, Chavez left knee. And I always question a fighter coming in with something on his wrapped up or uh, revealing an injury. You don't do that in boxing. Even if it's hurting, you hide it. <laughs> Rose Chavez crowd chanting already. Great right hand up the middle by Mayweather. Bound Pater. Mayweather has the whole ring to circle on. When you follow a guy, you got to follow him and make his back hit the ropes so he can stop moving. Don't give him the whole ring to move. And that's what Chavez is doing, allowing him to move the whole ring. Because so far, he's been following Floyd rather than cutting him off. Hard left hand inside by Mayweather and a solid right hand uppercut as well. Mayweather finding the target early with power shots. Remember, Mayweather cannot function good landing that many shots to the jaw and then it'll knock you down and he could hurt his hand. Is body punching easier on the hands than head punching, George? Well, if you can get the body punches right on target, but you don't want to scrape those elbows because that'll make you cry too. There's Chavez hitting the elbow of Mayweather. He hasn't had a history of bad hands. What Chavez is trying to do is make this an ugly fight against a fighter who prides himself on looking good in the ring. He's trying to upset Mayweather and make him fight out of his normal style. So far, Mayweather is staying right within himself. 
and he's trying to do it with his right foot too far behind his left foot. You can't make it ugly for Mayweather when your right hand is out of reach like that with Chavez has. It's been a brilliant first round for pretty boy Floyd, who despite all of Chavez's efforts, has managed to stay pretty and land the bigger blow. He's gonna go. Go over there. Hey, get on your punches. Cut him down here on the top. Go, go. Bang, bang, uppercut. He's going to the body like that. Bang, bang, uppercut. Okay. Now look. Remember that buck, buck, uppercut, and come over there with that overhand okay. right, because it's down now. Okay. He's going to sit down with your lipid now, okay? Now look, give me the face, choose the face a little bit for me, okay? okay? Double jab, double jab, a lot of double jabs, then shoot the right hand. Here we see Chavez trying to stay inside of the sharper, quicker Mayweather, take away his range. Make him throw punches when he doesn't want to throw punches. CompuBox numbers show that in round one, Chavez rushed, threw a lot of punches, missed almost all of them. Six of 92. Mayweather took his time, waited for his chances, capitalized beautifully. 23 out of 56. Big round for Floyd. Once again, Floyd Mayweather's using the ring. He's almost going from rope to rope. Too much room. you got to stop him and make him go in the opposite direction. Well, his handlers and his promoter gave him the kind of ring that's almost a quarter of a mile track. Chavez should go around and make him circle in the opposite direction. His leg may not want to do that. Chavez lands the left hook. Mayweather guarding the body and Chavez says, I'm going to pound away anyway. This is the formula by which Chavez can benefit as he puts Floyd's back against the ropes and keeps him there. That's where you want Floyd Matt Wayweather on the rope. Even if you're not hitting him hard, keep his back on the rope. It lasted about 15 seconds. As for a moment in this giant ring, Chavez found the phone booth. And he made an impression. Break, break, break. Stop me. Break. Keep it clean in there. Once you get Mayweather in the middle of the ring, he's got too many steps before his back hits the rope. He wasted the time. So keep him on the rope. You may not be able to get good shots, but keep him in that position. stands to reason Floyd's feet are so good he's not going to be as effective offensively if his feet stop moving. That's right. Get him against the rope. Chavez lands a big left hook. Uppercut from Mayweather. Clean shots in this fight. Chavez showing that you can be aggressive and you can go to the body without making it a dirty fight. Good left hook to the body by Mayweather. Comes back to the ribcage once again. Straight right hand inside. Floyd Mayweather countering beautifully. What happens when you're like Chavez and you're throwing a lot of punches like that, and then the guy comes back and hits you in the body, it takes a lot more out of you because not only are you wasting your energy, and he's starting to get those body punches and it'll take your energy way more so. Mayweather's doing a good job of going to the body with that left hook. Francisco. Mark your calendars for these upcoming HBO shows. Every Thursday night, don't miss Inside the NFL now in its 25th season. Our hosts, Chris, Len, Nick, Jerry, and Dan, take you through exclusive game highlights. Take the first look ahead to next week's games every week. Then Tuesday, November 20, catch the next edition of Real Sports with Brian Gumbel. Among the stories, a look at how Rick Pitino deals with the September 11 attack, which claimed the life of his brother-in-law, one of his closest friends. And on December 4, Sports of the 20th Century brings you the game of their lives, a documentary examining professional football in the 1950s and how that decade shaped the game which today has become 
a multi-million dollar business. The game of their lives premieres Tuesday, December 4, right here on HBO. Wait, 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 fine, all right? Can Chavez sustain this through 12 rounds? If he has that kind of conditioning, Mayweather ran to the center of the ring and dropped the right hand right on Jesus Chavez's jaw. Not only did he get a good right hand, he got a left hook underneath also. But this can be discouraging to a fighter once you hit land those kind of shots and the guy come out to you more so. Well, Larry told you the question and you're looking at the reason why. Can Chavez do that for 12 rounds? It takes a lot of energy. But he's paid his, he's paid his dues. He can do it. Just got to be committed to it. Oh. Scintillating right hand by Mayweather. The mark of Chavez's strength, the kinds of punches that made quick work of Angel Manfredi and knocked down Diego Corrales in the early going, haven't yet seemed to dent Chavez's commitment. Mayweather's done a good job of jugging and sticking that left hand right into the body of Chavez. Now that may turn things around. Oh, what a beautiful right uppercut by Mayweather as he countered through a Chavez left and landed it on the point of the chin. He's starting to hit uh, Chavez on the elbows now. And he's got to be careful with his hands. Mayweather's starting to move around and miss those body shots hitting to the elbows. Jesus Chavez is here to fight. Not going to take no for an answer, despite how many brilliantly thrown punches land for Floyd Mayweather. Gets up into the ropes. Chavez usually throws a barrage of punches, more than one, and he keeps the pressure on. is his mother and dad in from Chicago and uh, obviously somewhat nervous about their son's fighting prospects so far. So far there have been no indications of any problems with Mayweather's hands. I, I've seen some already, Larry. He, you? he laid through a left hook and hit the elbow of Chav, uh, the right elbow of Chavez and it stunned him for a moment. He stopped going back to the body with his left jab. One thing they've done is they brought a professional hand wrapper during training sessions. Before he, the last fight, Mayweather had wrapped his own hands and it was wrapping them improperly and that's how he aggravated the injuries. Harold Butterman, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim, in the first two rounds, you know, let's look at the place we scored.
Bobo fights. Clean punching and effective aggressiveness. And in the first two rounds, you couldn't take the effective aggressiveness away from Jesus Travis. I don't care what anybody says. He, he took Floyd out of his game. He backed him into the ropes. And, and then he just took the fight to him. In the third round, Floyd caught him with that Hall of Fame stuff. The kind of things you're seeing right now. Won the third round. Two rounds to one, uh, Chavez. 29-28. I have it two rounds to one for Mayweather. Mayweather is doing all the right things, but he's taking a lot of body punches, and no, that is not something that he can benefit by. He allows Chavez to just put his right hand in and just lean in, get close enough, and beat him in the body. Starting to go back to the body with that left jab. George, yep. is, is Mayweather's foot movement gradually going away because of the body punishment dealt out by Chavez? Or because he's tempted to fight Chavez's fight? Both. Some of both. All of the above. Why would he be tempted to fight Chavez's fight? Well, because he's got that macho thing about him. He's just not going to just back away. He's knocked out big punches before. Yeah, but one, one reason is that he's been hit a few clean punches and they haven't had any effect on him. So he's not overly concerned with any one punch from Chavez, which tends to embolden you. Well, this had some effect on him because his legs are starting to come to closer and closer together as this fight goes on. But he's going right back to the body with his left jab, uh, Mayweather is. Back to the body, and that's daring. Still think that he could take some more energy out of his opponent. Up top by Chavez. Harold, did I see you say that you gave the first two rounds to Chavez and the third to Mayweather? Yes, Jim. Absolutely. A second you gave right the this? first round to Chavez? Absolutely. Really? All right, that's all I need to know. All right, baby. Hey, how we feeling? How we feeling? Yeah. Hey, this guy can't beat you, man. Listen to me, Hasty. But you got to do the right things now, okay? Yeah. Listen to me. You got to use the jab <laughs> on this guy. Jab the guy in the chest. Get close Floyd Mayweather, for reasons unknown to us, came over to ask if you and I were okay. George, chilling with you okay? Right I'm okay. What was that all about? After you started to ask, I started to wonder. Keep doing what you're doing. Go get him out of there. Smart box. Mayweather seems to like this part of it, showing something else of himself be besides being a uh, boxing master. Perhaps he has no choice because Chavez is just coming to him so hard. Mayweather's doing an old boxing trick. As soon as the bell rings, he right, runs out there and lands the initial right hand. He's done it twice and effectively both times. So these are old boxing tricks you seldom see anymore. Well, one thing that Chavez conceded about Mayweather in, uh, in our meeting with him yesterday, he said, look, he's a thoughtful fighter. He's always thinking in there. He said, even when a te as a teenager in the amateurs, you could see that he had all the wrinkles. And that only stands to reason because Lloyd grew up in a fighting family. Fighters are landing some clean blows at close quarters. I like the body punching by Chavez. He's doing a great job of going to the body, keeping keeping those punches on this guy, hands on him all the time. Nothing bad can happen to you if you keep fighting like that. The momentum of the fight is gradually going in Chavez's direction, although it's easy to see Mayweather has greater skills or quickness. Chavez is just determined to make Floyd fight his fight and is winning that mental war. This is not Mayweather's fight at all. 
But as you said, he's got the macho thing. He may want to prove to us and to others he can win this fight just as easily as he'd win the other guy. He's in with a guy who can take his best punch and come back and hit them with them. Well, one reason I think, George, is that Chavez is so close, close to him that Mayweather is uncorking short little punches that don't have the real power that he's had when he's got room to punch. Mayweather picks certain occasions where he stands his ground and does not back up at all. Once again, Mayweather starting to hit those top of the heads of Chavez, those places where you hurt your hands. You know, one thing that's being established here by Chavez, which is that if Mayweather moves up to the higher divisions, Chavez will be a serious player at this weight class. Sizzling right hand over the top by Floyd Mayweather. Counter left hook inside. Solid shot. Chavez averaging 100 punches per round in the past three stanzas of work. Okay? And look, keep hitting him on the body, look. Hit him on the arm first with the left hand and then shoot the overhand right. Okay? Chavez is obviously the busier fighter. Mayweather is landing some cleaner punches and punches that can be clearly seen by officials. Jesus Chavez has thrown 553 punches, averaging well more than 100 punches per round. He threw 114 punches in the last round. Low connect percentage, high activity. Hard right hand over the top by Mayweather. Chavez can take Mayweather's shots too, at least for the time being. It was Chavez who initiated that with a nice left hook that a lot of people overlooked. I don't believe I've ever seen Mayweather have to work this hard in a fight. Mayweather's looking for one good shot here and there. This guy's keeping his head moving. Chavez keeping his body, shoulders moving where you just can't get one shot. Mayweather's going to start throwing three. Mayweather's like a uh, romantic lead in the movie who suddenly finds himself in an action-adventure film. <laughs> yeah, but he's scored as well. He's had his moments in this action-adventure thriller. Now that's the kind of boxing match that Mayweather won. There you go. He uses Move his feet. Move out of the way. Absolutely. And when he uses his feet, he can turn opponents into bad positions, and he has a better chance to hurt them by getting them off balance. And he goes back into the middle of the ring, so he has all of that room once more. He's not going to hurt Chavez standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with him against the ropes, but he might if he can get him off balance and hit him with a clean shot in the middle of the ring. He's hardly going to hurt Chavez, period. This guy can take a good shot. He may have decided that exactly what you say, George, and that's why he's starting, starting to fight more with his legs than his fists. Well, I certainly think... If Floyd fights this way with his feet, it's awfully hard for Jesus Chavez to beat him. Now he's back against the rope. That's what Chavez wanted. Once he commits to that rope, you got to get in there and keep him there. But in a sense, it's, a, it's an admission of a kind of defeat. Come here, come here, come here. That toe-to-toe, -to -toe, he couldn't go with Chavez. 
Well, why should he? I mean, I'm not saying he should, but it was obvious that he was trying. Now he has him up against the ropes. He's got to take advantage of him. He's not going to be able to keep him against the ropes if Floyd is determined to get away. Floyd's feet and legs are just too good. Well, if he wants to stink out the joint and win the fight, he can do it. <laughs> Aren't you the one who always says win this one and look good the next time? That's Georgia <laughs> Ben. <laughs> this may be one of those nights for winning this one and looking good the next time. <laughs> Copy box numbers, punches thrown per round. And you can see the difference in output as Chavez tries, sometimes desperately, to make the fight. Throwing 124 punches there in the fourth round. There in the sixth, Mayweather throwing about half as many punches, but via ring gener generalship, in my own personal view, winning the round. You heard Roger Mayweather say, we'll try him again later. I think what he means is box him in this round and try to get him, stop him further down the road. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim, I got it all even. Three rounds apiece, 57, 57. I got to tell you, just remember, effective aggressiveness. It's very, very important. I don't give a darn how many punches you saw. Jason Chavez there in the first round. I saw the effect of this of Jason Chavez when he pressed Floyd really Mayweather and took him out of his game. But be as it may, Jason Chavez I had him winning one, two, and five. Floyd Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather the other three, all ten to nine, all even 57-57. I have it four rounds to two for Mayweather. <laughs> let him go, let him go. Mayweather's going soft power. That's telling you that things are not going his way. I agree, George. More often than not, when a fighter turns soft power, it's because he's confused, not because he's trying to confuse his opponent. Yeah, things are not looking good. Now Mayweather steps back into his conventional stance. Break, 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 break. Hey, stop, the the glove, the stop trapping the glove. Stop trapping the glove. Referee John Shirley's done a good job. Haven't seen this referee before, but he's been very little a part of the action, and that's good. Excellent uppercut by Mayweather. Now, now Mayweather is, is punching and fleeing at the same time. How do you get something serious on your opponent if you don't commit to it? Well, he knows that he can only land one shot and he better get out of there. That's what Mayweather's doing. He throws his best shot and looks for a way out. He's not investing in any three-punch combinations at this point. Going down with his jab to the body thinking that he's going to come back with a straight right hand on top. He's been missing all night with that straight right hand. That's the reason he jabs to the body, left jab to the body, to make his opponent lower his hand so he can get that straight hand, right hand in there. All oh, those are hard shots to the body by Chavez. Funny thing is that Chavez is the one who told us he would be jabbing to the body. But Mayweather has used that tactic more frequently than has Jesus. Jesus's game has just been this fierce determination to walk through fire and make the fight. And I thought he won that round. For more boxing, mark your calendars for these upcoming shows. Next Saturday night, heavyweight championship rematch between Asim Rockman and Lennox Lewis, HBO pay-per-view. The number one, Vladimir Klitschko continues his march toward a possible heavyweight title shot as he faces David Izon. 
And on December 15, we close out our 2001 fight schedule with the rubber match between John Ruiz and Evander Holyfield. Heavyweights, HBO, the heart and soul of boxing. Let me get it, Richard. Let me get it. Fast with your hand with your cans, okay? Shoot them up a cut at this guy, okay? Shoot them up a cut. Ronnie Shields wants uppercuts from Jesus Chavez. Chavez appears fresh, not breathing hard, despite the tremendous output of punches so far. Mayweather back on his feet and moving to begin this round. Another thing that Chavez is doing is providing a blueprint for fighters in the heavier divisions on how to fight Floyd Mayweather when he gets there. Yeah, well, they're going to have to bring that similar chin that Chavez has. Yeah, well, this guy's taking some good shots. You're not going to run into those every day. Well, presumably they're going to be bigger and stronger. This is one of those extraordinary chins. Whoa! That was a left hook that hurt Mayweather. Big left hook shot in the corner. And if nothing else, Chavez has removed some of the veneer of Mayweather's confidence and made him look a little less certain of himself in there. Yeah, well, Roger Mayweather, the power play, says they were going to put Chavez in the microwave and cook him in about 8 or 12 minutes like a chicken. Some chicken, some microwave. Hard right hand by Mayweather on the uppercut. Work. Chavez, watch that hand. Keep the base up. Chavez just digging and digging. This is the way you fight a master boxer. You get him on a rope, then you just throw what you can. You don't care whether you hit him or not. Just keep something on him at all times. Four good right hands, five by Mayweather inside. You only get in trouble when you stop. Mayweather landing solid right hand shot after solid right hand shot, all with the uppercut motion. Chavez just coming right through him. His beard undented by Mayweather's assault. Left hook for Mayweather. Right uppercut again. And these are the kind of punches that hurt your hand. That Chavez is game. He's taking some hard shots and he's coming. What a crowd. What an exciting arena. They waited 40 years for a championship fight in San Francisco, and they are ready for it. They are getting it. Price fighters bringing everything they've got, putting everything out. Terrific stuff. Mayweather showing he can out. brawl as well as box. Chavez showing he can take it as well as dish it out. Fascinating. A round in which Chavez forced Mayweather to fight his fight, and Mayweather landed a lot of clean, hard shots. Mayweather has started this round. He thinks that he is stalking Chavez up in the last round and may be able 
to hurt him in this round. And it didn't come out like that at all. Got, got now it's back. Thomas who lands a big right hand across the top after two hard digging left to the body. Let him go. Keep it clean in there. He thought he had him softened, and this guy just took up heart. Took a deep breath and jumped right back on Mayweather. And a welt under the right eye of Mayweather. Chavez showing a heart as big as Texas as he just keeps coming through the hailstorm of punishment that Floyd Mayweather is laying on him. They got Cassius Green in the corner as a cut man this time. And this is a new thing for uh, Floyd Mayweather. So he's going to have to work on that left, that right, uh, right side of the eye tonight. Where there's doesn't look, that doesn't look good for Mayweather at all. Because he's got no defense for that left hook. Chavez over on that side. punches. They're not full, hard-on, committed punches. They're short shots, but very effective shots. He was 30 of 60 in that round, and he's the winner as Chavez's corner elects to stop the fight. Ronnie Shields telling his fighter, you're taking too many clean shots. What can you say? A guy has given that much. You fought rather than let him do it in the ring and not on a stool like that. He gave too much tonight. Lloyd is saying to us, I got him to punch himself out. Perhaps he hit the wall there in the ninth round. And couldn't go on. Ron Shields hey. saw it. I'm a little surprised. Hey. Uh, he took those shots. Maybe that was a signal to Shields, who knows him better than any of us, of course, that he, did, he was coming forward now at 80% instead of 100%, and that's when you start to get tagged. Well, he gave this crowd and us tonight something to jerk and jump off, and I see about tonight because I'm still jumping. That was <laughs> tremendous that entertainment. Was a and it's a very interesting stoppage by Ronnie Shields, who shows enormous compassion. And again, I want to underline the point that Larry made. He knows the fighter better than anybody. He's in a better position than anybody to know what it means to 
see that fighter's head snapping back from Floyd Mayweather's up What a good fight. The championship effort by both fighters. And Floyd Mayweather, if, if he wanted to prove the point that he could fight somebody else's fight and still win, he pulled it off. All things approved. <laughs> Stoppage came unexpectedly. You might have gotten a hint when you heard Ronnie saying to what he saying what he said to Chavez about too many clean punches, but I didn't think he was on the verge of, of bringing it to a halt. I thought Chavez was doing a lot better than Ronnie Shields may have thought he was doing. Well, particularly given that the fight was still on the table, I mean, it was on the table. No you, better you, said. You saw you saw Harold Letterman's Letter, scorecard, Letter. which had Mayweather leading by one point after that round. So it wasn't as if Chavez was out of the fight, or at least it didn't appear that way. Let's hear the particulars from Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John Shorley, at the request of the challenger's corner, Jesus Chavez, calls an end to the contest. Chavez unable to continue, the winner by TKO, and still the undefeated WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Pretty Boy, Floyd Mayweather. Final CompuBox numbers, and you will see the margin by which Chavez out threw Mayweather, throwing 469 punches more than did the champion. But the champion landed 15 more punches by CompuBox estimate than did the challenger, thus the doubling of connect percentage. Scores in the fight, one judge, Lou Filippo, had Mayweather ahead 89-82 as you look at the power shot percentages and recognize that Mayweather by CompuBox estimate landed more than half of his power shots. 89, 82, 88, 83, 87, 84, so none of the three California judges has the fight as close as did Harold Letterman. And now let's go Larry Merchant in the ring with both fighters. Thank you very much, Jim. First to Jesus, why was the fight stopped? Well, uh, Ronnie decided to stop the fight because I was getting hit, I got careless in there. Um, I wanted the fight really bad and you know, I, I, I got thrown off my game. W were you running down in energy after setting such a feverish pace? Well, you know, that was my intention. I, I figured flow would, it would uh, wear down after I keep my body attacked, fluent and constant. But you know, he's, he held through, man, my, my hand to, to flow, you know. Work, you know, he's, he's, he's the champ. And now I become his number one fan. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jesus. Floyd, was that a little tougher than you thought it might be? Well, first of all, I want to thank God for the victory, man. Without him, you know, all this wouldn't be possible. I want to thank Team Mayweather. And I want to thank Grant Boxing, you know, the Versace of Boxing. But you know, like I said before, I took my time. I stayed focused. I listened to my corner. I knew he was going to come out like that. Like I said before, he's called the Matador, but he fight more like a bull. I let him punch himself out and get tired. That was my game plan. Don't let him keep punching, beating on my arms. And then eventually, like I said, I'm going to take him to deep waters in Toronto. Did he ever hurt you? Oh, he's not a hard puncher at all. But he's a, he's, a, he's a very, very busy fighter. Hit me with some good shots, but none of the shots really hurt. I'm not going to, you know. It seemed in the middle rounds after you saw that he could take your shots, that you were going to box him for a while and then try to finish him. Is that what you did? Well, you know, I want to um, switch my game plan up on You know what I'm saying, Larry? I want to switch my game plan up. Take my time, stay focused, and just listen. Had you ever fought somebody who just sort of hurtled himself at you like that and just dove into your chest and punched away? Well, a lot of the amateur experience helped. A lot of amateur experience helped. You know, I love fighting on HBO. I love being with top rank. And um, it was just a learning experience for me tonight. Is this finally your last fight at 130? This is my last fight at 130 pounds. I can't make the weight no more. Uh, it was hard getting down, you know, 230 pounds, but I got there. I'm looking forward to moving up to 135, fighting um, Paul Spatafor, Jose Castillo, and hopefully moving to 140 and fighting Constance Zoo. Tonight, my game plan was to take my time, let the guy punch himself out, 
take him to the lay rounds and um, do like do like my uncle Roger said and, and stop the guy. Thank you very much, Floyd. Congratulations uh, on a terrific victory and a terrific fight. Uh, Back to